Okay, so welcome back to another Bitwig tutorial. And in this one, we're going to talk about the, uh, the plugin hosts, you know, how it works. And this is actually a, a request from a Patreon. So I'm fulfilling that request. So uh, on your uh, configuration, when you go, you know, you go all to all your settings, you have something that says plugins, right? And, you know, you can select by plugin or by manufacturer or together. It's a little bit confusing, you know, um, why, why should we do this? So there is a reason. Now, of course, how Bitwig works, it's uh, going to start, you know, you can start your, the process of Bitwig, you know, the .exe runs the program and then it has an audio engine, um, you know, executing right there. Other, you know, I'm trying to talk, you know, to, to say this on very lame words. Uh, I'm, I'm a software engineer, so, you know, I'm just trying not, not to use any of, you know, weird words that you wouldn't understand if you're not an engineer or maybe you're not on the, on this kind of thing. So, okay. So what this does behind the scenes is going to create the Bitwig instance, and then it's going to create the audio engine. So the audio engine, it's what makes pretty much everything right. We have right here, all the tracks, all the, you know, the audio, everything we have right here, sound just work. So if I go uh, right here to the task, notice it says details, uh, uh, task manager, I'm on, I'm on Windows. If you're on Mac, you're going to need to do, I believe is the activity monitor. Maybe it was the activity monitor. Haven't used Mac in like five years, so I kind of don't remember. So notice that you have the studio running separately from the engine. So if I end the task, it's going to crash the audio engine. And when the audio engine crashes, pretty much everything crashes. So if you're playing a track, doing something live, everything is going to go down. And that is the problem. And that's why you get these options, because some plugins might uh, provoke some crashes. So you have different options. Some of the options are going to use least resources, and some of the options are going to be more safe, because if a plugin crashes, the whole audio engine is not going to crash. So you can use, and notice when you uh, go right here and you hover, it says, Individual sandboxes are created for each plugin manufacturer in the case of by manufacturer. And the keyword right here is sandboxes. So what it's going to do is a sandbox, it's like a it's like a package, it's like a box. Let's say it's like a box. If you have an art, you know, you have your session right here, and you have 15 Arturia plugins running on your session, if your configuration is gonna be is by manufacturer, all those, you know, all the Arturia plugins are gonna be inside that one box. So if one of the Arturia plugins goes down, the whole box is going to go down and all the plugins are going to go down from Arturia. But all the other plugins, everything else is not going to go down and the audio engine is not going to crash. And actually, I, I can actually prove this. I'm going to keep on by manufacturer, right? And I'm going to go and say, eh, maybe I'm going to try with the valve filter. So I'm going to bring a valve filter plugin. So I'm going to go there. And we have the Pro Q. Let me just show you this. We have the, uh, you know, the instance of a studio, uh, a Bitwig studio. Then we have the audio engine. And now we have a plugin host. So the plugin host is the sandbox that it's creating for us. So I'm going to go, let me just move this. I'm going to throw a reverb. I'm going to throw a Pro C. And now we have three plugins from the same manufacturer. So notice it's not creating more. So uh, I'm going to do the speakers, right? So I'm throwing a, a plugin from a different developer. So notice it's creating a new one. So this one is the audio thing, and this one is the Arturia. I'm sorry, the uh, the pop filter. So it's creating one sandbox for each manufacturer. Now let's say let's just pretend that the pop filter Pro Q is just going to go down. It crashes. So I'm going to fake it. I'm going to end the task, end the process, and notice that all the fab filter plugins crashed because, you know, the sandbox, sandbox kind of like went down. But the audio thing is still alive. You know, it's working. And the audio engine, engine is still alive. That's what they mean by manufacturer. If uh, a plugin from, uh, you know, fab filter crashes, all your fab filters are going to crash, but it's not going to kill all the other plugins and it will not kill the session. You can still be able to play and listen all the other tracks. If you go by plugging, instead of creating a sandbox by manufacturer, is going to do it kind of a, a bump one by one, right? Just going to create by plugging. So I'm going to pretty much start over. I'm going to delete this and I'm going to bring the speakers and I'm going to put it right there. 
right? So now we have a sandbox for that one. So if I bring another one from the same manufacturer called Reels, you know, it's a bit noisy, I'm going to get a new sandbox because it's creating a new sandbox for each different plugin. Now, if this one crashes, I believe this one is the tape, the one that it's making the noise. If I kill this one, that one, it's going to die, but the other one is still alive, right? Because you're just hosting the plugins by plugin. Now, one thing that this does that it's very important to know is that, for example, if I, uh, I have a speakers right here and maybe have a different track using the same plugin, it will not create a new sandbox. It's going to use the same one. So all the instances of the same plugin are going to go within the same sandbox. Now, the thing, of course, if this one crashes, it's going to crash all the instances of the same plugin. All right. So hopefully this is clear. So then you get the individually, and it says the most safe. The thing is that, of course, uh, it's going to use more resources. Imagine, you know, just if you think about it, if you do individually for each different plugin, it's going to create a sandbox. So one for speakers. I'm going to go a speaker in this case, and you can actually see it right here, right? I'm going to do the same. I'm going to do there. I'm going to throw a different speaker, and now we have two processes. They are the same plugin, but now we have two sandboxes. Now, if this one crashes, it's going to crash th this one. But the other one is still alive and the audio engine is still on. The thing is that if you have, I don't know, 25 plugins, right? You will have 25 different processes right here running. So it's using more resources. That's why it says, you know, most safe and least resources. So at the end of the day, you can choose whatever you want you want to do. Now, uh, this is the individually. Now, some plugins are just going to create their own sandbox. They're, they're not going to listen to this, some, some plugins. It's just going to go and do it, you know, on a different way. But uh, when you go by plugin or by manufacturer, you have the option to do plugin per plugin overrides. So this means that, for example, uh, let me just give you an example. Uh, let me uh, close this. Go here, and I'm going to do the Pro-Q. So what I will do is I'm going to host everything by manufacturer, but I'm going to exclude some very specific plugins that I know they're maybe they're problematic. So let's say I do the uh, Pro-Q, right? Now let me do five filter first, five filter. So let me find it. Is this one, the Pro-Q3. So this one is going to be hosted individually. So I'm going to check it. I'm going to go out. We have by manufacturer selected. So if I go to Fab Filter, I'm going to do Pro, Pro C. I'm going to do the Pro L. And I'm going to do the Pro R. Right? So we have three plugins from the same company. So we are creating one sandbox. But remember, we said that the Pro Q3 is going to be hosted individually. So it should be creating a new sandbox for the Pro Q3. And it's doing just that. Because I know the Pro Q3 is problematic. I'm just, you know, pretending. So if I kill that Pro-Q3 instance, it's going to kill that one. You know, that one dies, but the other ones are still alive because I know that this one is problematic and the audio engine is still on, right? So hopefully all of, all of this just makes sense. It's actually, you know, make, makes perfect sense. So then if you go, I'm going to just uncheck that one. Uh, if you go to the other side, you get together and it says plugins are sandboxed together, separating them from the audio engine. Right? So this one, it's not the most safe like this one, because if one crashes, the other ones are not going to crash if we select them individually or per plugin. Together, it means that every single plugin that we put, and uh, let me just go to maybe some other audio thing. So this one is actually kind of heavy. Uh, speakers. So now we have uh, plugins, uh, four different plugins from different companies, and we have one sandbox. The thing is that if this plugin um, crashes, all the plugins are going to crash. Now, some plugins don't follow this, you know, behavior. For example, I, I guess the Arturia ones are going to create their own sandbox reg regardless of what, you know, what you select. And it is that it's doing that. And the Arturia plugins are sometimes like that. You know, what are you going to do? But they're cool. So if this plugin crashes, 
everything crashes. That's why, again, let me just close all of this. That's why most safe lays resources, but you know, it's risky because if one goes down, everything goes down. All right, so we have the Bitwig and we have the Audi engine. And we know that this is these ones are really important. So so if I go with within Bitwig, all the plugins are gonna be sandbox or just placed with where, where the audio engine is running. And that is a problem. Why? Gonna go, well, I wanna say problem. If you wanna do it like this, you know, do it like that, it's fine. It's completely up to you. But you know, if I go to speakers or and I can actually I cannot fake this. I can if I do something else. I'm throwing three plugins. Uh, let me do one more from a different company, from FabFilter. Uh, I'm going to do the Pro C. So we have four plugins from different companies. So notice we don't have a new process right here. We don't have a new sandbox. The thing is that if this crashes, the Pro C crashes, everything is going to crash, including the audio engine. So you're going to get this active, you know, the audio engine crashed. So you're going to need to not just reload the plugin, but you're going to need to reload the whole audio engine. And the problem with this is that if you're, you're kind of a playing something live or you're doing something, it's going to kill everything. It's going to stop the playback and stop everything. It's just going to kill your session until, you, of course, you restart everything. So that's it. That's how, you know, how the plugin hosting uh, mode works. My, you know, what I use is by manufacturer because... Usually, uh, you know, I use most of, you know, usually all use the same plugins pretty much the whole time. So I use the FabFilter, you know, the Arturia ones and the, the Plugin Alliance ones. So if, if one crashes, you know, it's going to crash, crash them all, then I'm going to restart them all and that's it. You know, that's it. And um, again, it's completely up to you. It's, it depends on what you want to do. If you don't care crashing the whole session, well, this one is going to use less least resources. And it's not going to give you any problems, but if one crashes, everything crashes. You're going to need to restart the audio engine. But again, it's using least resources. So if you have a slow computer or maybe, uh, you know, uh, yeah, just a, maybe a crappy computer, uh, this is going to help a little bit if you use a lot of plugins. So hopefully this was this is clear. You learned something today. And uh, remember to, of course, like and subscribe and to check Patreon and uh, see you on the next one.